to talk about the contribution and impact of body farms in forensic science. The Body Farm is a human taphonomic facility, which is the proper name for it, which is a research facility that studies the process of human decomposition. It is also a training facility for law enforcement on the recovery of human remains. It is based off of anthropology, which is the study of human biological and physical characteristics and their evolution. The first body farm opened in 1981 in Knoxville, Tennessee by Dr. William Bass, head of the anthropology department, who was also an expert in archaeology. The legality and ethics of body farms are always discussed, but in fact, they are very legal, though criticized. Um, there are many ethical considerations and questions by the public um, on the care of bodies and whether this is actually the correct thing to do. Thank you. 
position. And then there's some at the University of South Florida, which is another uh, recovery course. Ethics and legality have always been a concern and discussed in regard to body farms because many things are not known. There's always consent received from donors and our families. Bodies are always handled with the most utmost respect and dignity. Confidentiality has always been a concern, um, but there's much in-depth paperwork. Um, objectivity has always been a concern due to the facilities being government-run. People always, you know, conspiracy theories. Another concern is desensitization of those working and running the farms. How does it affect their mental health to be around, you know, the deceased every single day? However, there is um, an American Anthropological Association, um, also known as AAA, where this is the ethics program and how a lot of the ethical and legal things are um, determined. Most importantly is the contribution and impact of body farms to science, forensic science specifically. They have the ability to provide education, training, practice, and knowledge advancement within the field of forensic science and law enforcement. We are much better now at determining how the environment affects decomposition. They allow us to better determine PMI, that post-mortem interval, the cause or circumstances of death and more. The information we can learn and we apply to real life scenarios, though not every single time. We are better prepared to train the next generation of experts, which may be law enforcement, current practitioners, medical legal investigators, and more. There is still much not known about body farms, and it's a lesser known field of science that we should utilize much more. I think that's it. Thank you very much. Woo! Are they online or not? Are they here? Oh, yes. Oh, they joined. Oh, great. We weren't sure they were going to be able to join us, but they are. So Q&A. Yes. So there's a couple of great questions in the chat. I'm not going to reiterate those here, but Chris Spencer has a question, Reagan. Hi, Reagan. Uh, I was curious. It seemed like uh, most of the farms are located in southern climates. Is there any reason that maybe more uh, further north are not included in this uh, uh, body farm? I believe it's mostly due to just having the area and space to do that. If you look at some of the facilities, they are a lot of acres. Um, and then you have to have a lot of permits associated with it and more. Um, I do know there is one in Colorado, so they do sometimes get colder climates. So I really think it's just dependent on location and school. Okay. Thank you so much.